Good morning, ducks. Are you coming, duck? Duck. Duck. I know you can hear me. Come on. See, he doesn't want to come out because he doesn't want to get tied up. Doug, come on. Oh, you're bad. Okay, big stretch. Come on. Come on, you lazy little thing. Come on. I know, life sucks on the end of a cable, doesn't it? Poor dog. Come on. I'm only doing it because I don't want you dead. This is what he's been doing to me, guys. Come on. What a dog. He's playing me. That's what he's doing. He's playing me. Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to a beautiful duck adventure day for, I think it's the 16th. If I'm wrong, I'll put the date on the screen. I'm pretty sure it's the 16th. So, guys. I'm going to clear something up for some new viewers because I'm getting some uh, emails uh, and private messages from people that are brand new, that are new to the show. And they're telling me that I should sell the eggs and I should sell ducks, you know, to help fund this, uh, the show. Well, if I do that, I wouldn't be raising ducks, uh, you know, for the homeless. I'd be a duck farmer. So that, that's the thing, guys, is that uh, I'm not a duck farmer. I'm a YouTuber raising ducks in a humane, ethical manner, giving them a great life for the homeless. And, you know, and the fact that, you know, because of your financial support, you know, because of, you know, one, watching the ads, you know, which is so important on the show, and, and donations by the link below the video, is why I don't need to sell the eggs, guys. You know, like I was selling the eggs, you know, to the Asians to help uh, keep the show going. But, you know, the support on the show was like, for me to sell the eggs, it would just be greedy. I just, it would just be greed. That's all it would be. And you know, I set out to do this. I set out, you know, to raise ducks because they took over my life. They're just so cute. And I live on the side of a lake. And it's, you know, the duck adventure has just manifested itself into, uh, you know, we're doing something good, you know, and that's what it's about. So, you know, I'm not doing this uh, to make a profit on the raising of the ducks and selling their eggs. That is not the purpose of it. So I hope that clears it up for anybody that's new to the channel, that's watching, that, uh, you know, I've, like I said this morning, I have five messages, five messages about giving the eggs to the food bank that I should sell the eggs. And I, I just got to clear it up. And you older fans that have been around for, a, you know, well, some of you since the beginning know what I'm up to and how, uh, you know, the show has evolved. And that's what it's about. Leo, you know, let's do something good. Let's have some fun. Let's watch animals have a great life. And, uh, you know, and the end result is a, a whole bunch of, you know, people that normally would never get a chance to have one premium eggs, you know, uh, that the food bank's getting. And, you know, these tasty ducks that, uh, you know, that I produce from a whole season here, uh, you know, for the homeless. Like, like guys, this is premium uh, stuff that I'm doing here. This is stuff that you would find in a grocery store like Whole Foods and you'd walk up and they'd want like $60, $70 for a duck. That's what I'm doing here, but it's going to a good cause. So that's enough of my rambling on about this. So let's let the ducks out. I got to get on with my day. I still didn't make the ramp for the uh, uh, the Argo, and I've got to go pick the Argo up today. And I'm being told by the ducks they want out. All right, relax, ducks. That's a good dog. Stay here. You screwed up the rush. Right? What would a morning be without Doug screwing the rush up? Doug, I said heel. Doug, oh you. Come here. Yo, morning rush now, guys. Uh, Doug is interested in hanging around. That's a good dog. Stay close. Oh, I know, puppy. Oh, 
He gets so excited about his ducks. I think it's because his animals in the yard. That's what I think it is. It'd be, it'd be like if you know, we had a bunch of little puppies running around. I think that's what the excitement thing is. Because this morning I ignored him coming out of the house. And he came right over when he saw me letting the ducks out. We just gotta get Doug back into the groove. You know, once he knows that, uh, you know, every day we're letting the ducks out and they're in the yard, he'll get back to being normal and screwing up the morning rushes and staying in the yard with the ducks. And he's got to walk right through the ducks. Right, Doug? I still don't trust you, though. I'm not going to videotape uh, egg recon today, guys, because I'm going to go do my edit right now. I've got to get the edit done, and then I'm going to, uh, I gotta make the ramp. Well, I'm gonna pick up the eggs, and I gotta make the ramp, and I gotta leave, because I gotta be at my buddy's house by one o'clock. And I don't know if he wants to be on camera, so I'll take a camera with me, but I, uh, I don't know if he's gonna wanna be on, some people just don't wanna be on YouTube. Actually, I got told yesterday, so yesterday or the day before, day before I got told very clearly they didn't wanna be on YouTube. I was like, no problem. I'm not gonna put you on if you don't wanna be on. Everything's cool. I'm gonna tie Doug up ducks right to the water. Creek's open too. Uh, I meant to tell you guys about that yesterday. Uh, it's wide open to the lake. It's the lake that's frozen right now. So the creek has finally uh, got water. That's why the ducks are going down there to swim in the water. Right now it's safe actually because uh, there's no snapping turtles. It, the water's far too cold for snapping turtles to be awake. All right, I'm gonna go and uh, finish my edit, have my breakfast, and then uh, I'm gonna build a ramp, and then we're gonna go pick up the Argo. Doug won't come close to me because I'm standing on the back deck near the leash and he knows it. I'm gonna let Stripper out. Come on, girl. There you go. Enjoy the sunlight. Couple more days. Actually, probably tomorrow, girl, you'll be with the ducks. All right, Dougie, I'm gonna put the leash on you while I do the edit so I don't have to worry about you. You're a goose, Dougie. You are out here, goose. Come here. I know you hate this, Doug, but it's gotta be done right now. Until you prove to me that you're a good dog. Okay, Doug, you're unbelievable. He's sad. Poor dog. Well, the weatherman nailed it. It is beautiful. So I'm heading out right now to get pick up the Argo. I don't know if my buddy wants to uh, be on the show or not. So uh, this might be, you might just all of a sudden see the Argo here. I don't know yet. But I do know one thing, he likes eggs. So I'm taking him a, a bucket of eggs here, about a day and a half worth. I stole them from the hatch. Um, the guy loves eggs. He told me he does. So uh, I'm going to take him a bunch of duck eggs. All right, Dougie, we're going on a road trip. You going to get up? Are you coming? Let's go. I'm out here at my buddy's place picking the uh, Argo up, obviously. And uh, Doug just treed a porcupine. Now they're going to fix them shortly with a lead vitamin pill because the porcupines are eating my buddy's house. Yeah, eating his house. Now this guy is about to get a 308 vitamin pill. So I just want to give you a shot here. Dougie's been barking like crazy at the tree and we couldn't figure out what it was. And there he is. He's just wound right out. I didn't know what it was until I saw a little brown on the tree and I realized he had something. But he was just trying to climb the tree like a fool. So we're going to give this uh, porcupine a vitamin pill right now. Well, they are. He's eating his house. The other night he came out at his front door and there was a porcupine eating the siding off the side of the house, right outside his door. So this guy is going to uh, meet his maker here shortly. Well, this porcupine just had a 308 put right through him 
and he just decided to die in the tree instead of falling out of the tree. But that's now a dead porcupine that's not going to eat my buddy's house. We can thank Doug for bringing this to our attention. There he is, one porcupine that's no longer going to eat his house. And thankfully he went up the tree and Doug didn't get him. He doesn't have a lot of big quills on him. But he's history now. I can't believe that they're eating my buddy's house. They've chewed off all the uh, door frame around his uh, front door. Come on, Doug. Let's go. Come on. Well, guys, this is going to solve the problem in the swamp. All right, let's go home, Doug. Oh, so lucky that you didn't find that porcupine on the ground. We're home, and I just noticed down at the creek of Muscovy was heading down there, and the lake's open on the other side. You coming, dog? Come on. Dougie's a little tired. He, uh, well, we spent the day at my buddy's place. Uh, I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, the ducks are deep in the bush, guys. He, uh, Doug ran his face off. My buddy lives on an ultimate property, 100 acres, and his house is dead center. Uh, like, it, it's unbelievable. I didn't video it because of privacy, but he put it this way, and he's got a pond and a swamp. Uh, it's the ultimate property. Actually, it's my dream property. Just look at this. They're deep in the bush. Obviously, nothing happened here today because everybody's pretty relaxed. Disco just woke up, guys. She was fast asleep when I pulled in the driveway. Serious drilling ducks. I'm not going to uh, touch the uh, Argo tonight. Tomorrow, i got a bunch of work to do to it. But I'm just, yep, she's gone. I, and I pulled in the driveway, there was a, a white duck walking down to the lake at the creek, and now she's gone, she's on the water. But the, the lake's totally open on the other side. When I was driving down the highway, actually you can see from here, it's all water. Argo's gonna do the job though. I didn't realize how wide it was. It's gonna, that whole swamp's gonna be packed right down, totally packed down. Nothing's gonna be able to hide here. Open water, guys. Maybe uh, two more days and the lake will be completely open. But I'm doing a quick scan here. All the ducks, except for the Muscovy that's walking back from the swamp right now, are in the bush. One little Muscovy female coming back. The way she's walking, you'd think she was a male. I don't know how this mic is picking it up, but the uh, the cedar tree above the duck pen is just packed full of birds. All the ducks must be over in the bush because uh, there are no ducks in the yard. I'm gonna put my uh, rubber boots on do my chores, and I gotta get supper happening. I'm so hungry. I forgot, I didn't have breakfast this morning. Well, they're back here, guys. The whole flock is back here. I guess the uh, the water running in here is just too much for them to resist. There's running water, and the ducks in running water. That's what it is, it's the running water in here that's causing them to be in here. This camera's probably not picking up the uh, drilling sound. All right, I gotta get my chores done. I gotta eat. I got a little bit of gut rot. I'm hungry. Really hungry, actually. Well, he's hanging around close. But I still don't trust him. I'm gonna go do my chores and then start the barbecue. I'm having steak tonight. Not only did I score an Argo today, I got a venison roast. And I'm really looking forward to that. They're just coming out now. 
I can't believe they didn't come and greet me. It must be really good drilling in there. There's a ton of them in there drilling. It's got to be the running water, guys, that's attracting them in there. That and premium drilling. They come over for a snack and then go back to drilling. The little group of females, they came out, they were just so happy, they just filled their bellies. Actually, I'm gonna move this right now. I gotta get the patio stones down here soon. Well, now that the warm weather's are finally here, guys, I gotta get things set up. I can get the water running in the pan. They just came from the barn having a snack. These little girls don't know I'm in here. Everybody's coming over for a late afternoon snack. It's all right, girls. I'm just adjusting the timer on the lights. Oh, Doug. You're just not used to this, are you? You get back in the groove soon. He wants to smell the duck so bad. Doug, you were a good dog today. I'm so glad you treed that porcupine instead of confronting it. I wonder if he remembered. I know one thing, he didn't want to go uh, near it when it was going up the tree. He was barking and digging his back feet and it was like he wanted it to go up the tree. But I just can't believe my uh, bite buddy, the porcupines are eating the side of his house. He came out and looked out the door and there was one eating the side of his house. Well, he shot it right there on the spot, but uh, they liked eating his house. But he lives a lot deeper in the bush than I do. So he's got a lot more critters. A lot more. Doug just went into the bush and brought all the ducks out. As soon as he went back there, they all came out of the bush. So we have our flock back. Doug didn't like it. He saw them all in the bush there when I was down here in the barn. And he just up and went in there and got behind them and flushed them all out. I think Doug's actually happy that his ducks are back out. There's someone in the yard with him. Oh, they're going back into the bush. Well, Doug, you watch over your ducks. Well, guys, the uh, ducks are not eating near as much food. Less than half a feeder last night. It's got to be because they're uh, drilling. They're foraging for natural food. I know they're starting to look cleaner. Yeah, they've got dirty faces, but that's, you know, they're drilling. Even the Scobies are reasonably cleaner. And the tub's really clean for them now. He just keeps following the ducks around. He wants to smell one so bad. They're not all like stripper, Dougie. Man, he was awesome today. Super good dog. It's a crow, Doug. <coughs> Stripper didn't even drink much water today. Pretty soon, Duck. I wonder if she's going to go drill in the mud or not. Such a fragile little duck. All right, my chores are done. I've got to get supper happening. And this is probably going to be it, guys. I'm absolutely burned out. 
I'm a little bit of a vegetable right now, actually. I'm feeling a little bit of the burn happening. And tomorrow I gotta get the Argo all uh, maintenance up so that I can uh, attack this bull rush situation. Maybe tomorrow we'll be uh, packing her down. I, I bring him over to the deck and he, he sees the leash in my hands and he gets all depressed. He went from all happy to sad. Doug, you're being really good and hanging around. Can I trust you? Look at me. Let me see your eyes. Dougie, come on. Show me your eyes and, and then I won't tie you up. Come on, look me in the eyes. I can trust you. No way. You're just pissed because you're thinking I'm going to tie you up. Can I trust you? <laughs> He's so sad, guys. Doug. <laughs> oh, you. Did you learn anything from being tied up the last day and a half? I think he did. Oh, it's so funny, man. He's just oh, playing me here. Oh, Doug. I'm going to tie you up, just in case. I know, eh? it sucks. Especially since you were a good dog all day. Hmm? You were an awesome dog all day. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and enjoy the show.